Uh, g'day Trey Sam here from Trey to Boss, but let's look at um, Truebit. It's been a while and it's done a nice move to the upside. This is a weekly chart. And if you recall from my previous presentation, I, was, that was, I saw that as a bearish move, but the weekly candle really recovered well. So that's a bullish candle and therefore we're, we're moving. Here is a key level of resistance. Basically, basically a derived from the um, volume profile with the nat natural um, naked point of control sorry so that's going to act like resistance again and we have a theory that maybe sooner or later we get a rejection maybe it's like that this was the um, last time what we did and we're looking for a macro structure a reaccumulation structure maybe this will just continue on to the next level to the 34 what is it 38 cents level um if it breaks this level so here here's a reference of a previous move on the weekly that could be our level of um taking a bit of profit <laughs> comes back down and then likely potentially use this as a, a springboard and then back up again so it is a bullish structure we've seen this channel um finding support last time we spoke about this this was the golden ratio uh from a number of perspectives let's have a look at this close up uh, i think i can make these bigger there we go and i'll like to make it all white so the, the screen appears well we've done two fibonacci layers and let's put this yellow there we go so our golden ratio is there 6.8 and that's the right from here to there uh, as just an assumption therefore the target is one from that perspective the other here is a fib extension from the bottom to the top and let's have let's have a look another way let's have a do this let's do this fibonacci extension from the bottom to that level and then bring it back down again And we should have gone. Okay. So that's our one fib level. Maybe we just include, ignore the um, the wicks, and just include the body of the candle. One is definitely the resistance. Um, this is a means of making a measurement to the upside. If we were to go bullish, we're just looking for confluence at the moment. So that is resistance, but I, I am bullish. Bitcoin might pull back a bit, and that might be the case where this will pull back. However, this is definitely off the 50% level, big spring, and there might be another opportunity where it pulls back on the weekly, and then we have that lower high, and up it goes. So be prepared. We are in the bull, bull market as you... As I gathered many times before, we can have strong moves to the upside, and uh, true bit could see from twenty cents to the likes of a dollar eighty to two dollars, or even more. Um, early days at this point, if only if only they come up with an announcement of some sort, um, this will be fantastic. This will pump. We just need something like um, the likes of uh, Binance or Coinbase to pick this up. And this could fly. Here we go. That's probably a bit better, clearer. Here we go. And so you can see the volume profile. If it passes that, look at the open skies. There is nothing there. Price discovery at $1.20. Uh, maybe there's another chart that's actually more than that. Let's have a look at here. True bit. Where did it go from the beginning? All right. No, got the wrong one. So 
So initially it started a, oh, a dollar, cost a dollar. 98 cents. Doesn't quite reflect that, does it? A uh, dollar 20, all right. Not sure why that's the case. Slight discrepancy, but that was the all-time high. And this is an accumulation, guys. This is a long-time accumulation. This could break out anytime soon. One of our strategies is, all right, um, still still a base. It hasn't really broken out. Realistically, this hasn't broken out at all. So this is still an accumulation. If we put that there, that is the accumulation, and it's actually just breaking out now. From a Wyckoff perspective, this is the shakeout phase. So volatility is going to be here, and it makes sense. So we're going to have volatility here, and you won't be ready for the big move. So this accumulation has taken over, well, 21, since uh, 23, no, actually here, on 22. So two years of accumulation could spell a big move to the upside. You want to time this. Um, and I, I dare say this is <laughs> early days, those, those figures. Um, we could go really high and we've spoken about what those potentials are um five dollars up there is one or oh, seven dollars is one of the guess the other one is uh four dollars something i'm gonna leave it at that please give me a like and share and i'll talk to you soon there you have it please give sam a like share and subscribe to his channel to support him for doing more of these posts